Welcome YouTube to another episode of Sneakers and Up. What up? I'm GC, I got a special guest today as you can see. My man, 50 Grand, DJ Galaxy B, how you doing? I'm doing good, how you doing brother? Thanks great. for having me on the show. This, great. I'm a big fan of Sneakers and Up. I stay Thank tuned you. on YouTube and Instagram, so thanks for having me, man. Appreciate All right. appreciate that. So, so you guys, those of you guys who don't know, this guy is a professional gamer. He gets played to play video games. Right. DJ, rapper, Producer. B-boy. B-boy. Graphic designer. Graphic designer. Model. Okay. okay. Clothing there designer. Go. There, we go. there we go. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. But yeah. most importantly, at least for this show, dope sneaker, dope sneaker collector. Yep. Crazy collection. Extensive stuff you guys haven't seen before. Nope. Or stuff you have seen or stuff you've heard about. Right. So let's, you know, get into this. Why yeah, don't you so, grab a pair? Let's get started. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to warm up with the Billionaire Boys Club Made in Italy ice creams. So it comes in this collector's bag. This is some exclusive stuff sent in from overseas in Italy. Um, go ahead and pull them out. They come in this nice little pouch here. It says ice cream on there. And um, they're mismatched, so that makes it interesting. And here's the first year I'm gonna hand that off to okay, you. There we go. Um, so that's a nice Italian leather. I was gonna um, say, the first thing I noticed about this immediately was the quality of the leather, because you don't really see leather like this on. Yeah, so you have the nice Italian leather. Um, also, you have the diamonds and dollars stitched in them there on the embroidery, really nice. Comes with uh, two bonus laces, um, which came in the Made in Ice Cream bag here. You can go ahead and take a look at those. It comes with the blue lace and it comes with the pink lace. And then the other shoe, you go ahead and uh, rock that, and that's the other one. So they do come with the kind of mint green and the pink bubble gum on the opposites, and it's sick. And if you turn around the back, it has the ice cream logo on the back right there, the Billionaire Boys Club ice cream logo. These are really sick. Um, retail starts off at $450. Yeah, they're, they're hitting hard. Right when I seen them, I was like, they're $450, and I didn't want to get them, and I was like, man, I got to get those. On the inside, it has the ice cream on the imprint there, and on the tongue as well right here. Okay. These are these are super sick. Not a lot of folks copping these, but yeah, they smell, smell fresh, look yeah. fresh. And um, those are the Billionaire Boys Club made in Italy's. Um, really hard to get. The only place you can get them was um, bbcicecream.com. Uh, came out for a short period of time last year, and now they are gone. So if you got a pair, good luck. You can see that ice cream right there written on there. Um, show them the bottom of the shoe. That's my favorite part. The bottom Bam! Part. Ice part cream. Oh, okay. it's so clean. It's like a plastic clear coated um, panel on the bottom. So that makes those uh, soles really interesting, and I like it. It's icy. You see it, ice cream. So you know what that reminds me of also is when you go to the, sc the store, Safeway, blah blah yeah, blah. Yeah, get the icy. Get the ice. <laughs> the icy, or actually the bag of ice, because the right. bag of ice has a, the, the letter. It does. It like does. It I forgot that. Yeah. So goes to the Billionaire Boys Club, made in Italy. Real exclusive. Something for the new school and the old school. Um, up next. This yeah. box. You already know when you see a face box. This you ain't see that box? That came out. Yeah, it didn't just come out. These are the Air Jordan 11 Columbia 2000 Retro, the first time they retro. Okay. So I've had these for 19 years, unworn. Those are the DS. light is kind of reflecting off the color, so sorry about that, folks. Yeah, but those are the DS Columbias. These are not the new colorway they called them, whatever they call them, Legend Blue, what have you. Uh -huh. No, these are the actual Columbias. You can tell by the way that the Jordan's facing. You can also tell by a little bit of the slight yellowing on the bottom, but these have never been worn, and a little bit of the buttercream color on the patent leather after 19 years of aging. Yeah. Um, you can also tell you got that 23 right there, not that new stuff. It doesn't have a higher raised patent leather. It's original patent leather like um, the early release of the Columbia. Love these. Um, these are the 2000 Retro 11. Cool. Let me do a little little display here. Yeah. Like I said, the light's kind of bouncing off, so I want to just make sure to give these things the actual credit they deserve. Sorry about the light, but you know, we got to work with what we got here. We're right. in a special location, secret location here. Right, that we right. can't disclose, but yeah. here we go. So 2000. 19 years ago, some of you guys who watch this weren't even born when these came out. These <laughs> shoes are literally older than you. Right. So hold on, you said you had, you told me you had a reason why these are undies. Right, so um, my plan is to give these to my future son. Um, I, I don't have one on the way yet, nothing like that. I just, yes. one day when I had a son, I was like, I want to give these to him. So I kept these on ice for 19 years and I will hold these on ice until I have my future son or, okay. or my future daughter and my future grandson to have them. So okay. eventually I want to pass these down. Um, they're not for sale. I've had several offers for these. And a lot of people lowball me. They're like, I'll give you an 800 for them. I'm like, no, I've had these for 19 years. So um, they hold a sentimental value to me. Come in this amazing original box. Yeah. Size 12, you know what I'm saying? Let me show them the box for yeah. you guys who don't know. OG collectors know the face box. Yep. They don't make these anymore. Never, this they're gone. The OG face box. Yeah. 
right there. And that was hard to keep uh, intact for 19 years, but uh, okay. been holding them. And uh, yeah, those are BS Columbia, y'all. Okay. Um, last but not least, my favorite, you know, it's sneakers and up, so we trying to step it up. Yeah, and we no got doubt, the no bathing ape, ape studs, and uh, these are pretty sick. I got these at the bathing ape store in LA last year. Um, went down there, these are legit. None of that fake stuff, we don't do that around here. No. Um, so here we go, go ahead and let okay. you hold that first one. Those are pretty sick. Wow. Um, look at the leather and the quality yeah, on Yeah, the quality on this leather is, it's A1. It's A1. And um, as you can see, it has the Bape Star right there, the Bathing Ape Star on the side, embroidered in, so it's not, um, it's not like external, it's stitched in on there. Uh, on the back, you can see it says Bape right there, Bape Star, and it has it um, on the bottom here on the side as well. And those are sick. The detail on these are sick, very rare. Not a lot of people have these. Um, if you look at the very bottom right here, you can see the Bape face right there, the Bathing Ape face, and the Bape Stars are all along there, so. Those are pretty sick. These are for some hardcore heads, and these are usually over most people's heads. They won't, you know, give these a shot, or they won't even be looking at these as some hot fire releases, but good luck even getting a pair. You can't even find these anymore. And um, it's really hard to find a pair of Bapes that are legit in this day and age, but these are a pair for y'all to check out. These are not the patent leather Bapesters that a lot of people grew up seeing and what have you. Those are really hard to get. You only can get them in Japan usually. But um, I got these at Bathing Ape LA, so make sure you guys are down there next. You can stop in and check these out, or at the Bape store in New York, so okay. those are pretty sick. And if you want to show them the box, you can get that to them. Yeah, let's do that. Um, let's do that. Yeah, I'll let oh, you. Let me show one thing. I oh, yeah, yeah, put the shoe yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. got a nice little touch here yeah. with the with the bathing ape on the inside. Yeah. And that kind of gives me a quick little reminder, like shout out to the uh, Rod Laver Adidas, that green and white. Yeah. You know, it kind of reminds me. Of course, obviously, the you know the label and everything's different, but just that green and white, nice little touch in there as well. It's like the little touch you got to pay attention to. Right. The details, it's just the, the details. details. Devils in the details. So let's look at that box. Yeah. Let's take a look at that. And you can go ahead and. Uh, you can break that down for them if you like showing. Okay. So um, these come in this real nice box. It says Bapesta has the Ape Shall Never Kill Ape right here and the Bape Star. Um, pretty sick. Not a lot of people will have this box. Not a lot of people will have these shoes. So this is Sneakers and Up, super exclusive edition. So we want to show you guys something that a lot of people didn't have. Yeah. And um, it's really over people's head, but it's just a Sorry. really good collector's item. Okay. And uh, yeah, this is dope. So if you guys are in the Bathing Ape or Billionaire Boys Club, you guys should check out those made in Italy ice cream. You should check out these vapes. And um, if you're an OG Jordan collector, try to get a pair of DS Columbias if you can. Those are really hard to get. Um, mm -hmm. More than likely, you'll probably be copping some legend loose. But <laughs> yeah. No doubt, no doubt. So now we talk about the sneaks. Right. And this guy is definitely gonna be back on the show. He's got way more heat in his collection. Right, right. You know, this is just like a little taste. But let's Just to warm y'all up. Exactly, exactly. So now let's get into like the bonus material. Let's talk right. about you being a professional gamer, okay. like literally a professional gamer, right. number one Street Fighter player in the US. Right. Tell us a little bit about, you know, kind of what that's like. And I also want to know, like, how is it a, is it a natural talent? Is it putting in time? Is it a combination, like, to get to that level to be a pro literally a professional gamer? Um, well, I am the number one US player in Capcom versus SNK2. I'm number two in the world um, at the EVO Fighting Game World Championships, okay. which is held every year. Um, I've been playing since I was a kid, so I think it takes a lot of time. You gotta practice, you gotta learn your combos, your characters, your matchups, um, you gotta study other people, watch their videos. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of learning. Um, I've been playing since the arcade era, so it went from arcade era to the console era, which was PS3, PS4, and up. Um, so yeah, it just takes a lot of time, dedication, you gotta really have a passion for the game to become a professional player, and you gotta build your highlight reel. So you gotta like get a lot of good matches, a lot of good reputation, uh, okay. and then the sponsors come for you. Okay. So it's not like like you go to the sponsors, the sponsors come to you. So I've been playing professionally since the year 2000, okay. and just now, in 2018, last year, I got them. 2000, <laughs> when these came out. Right, when those came out <laughs> is when I started playing, which was um, shortly after I got out of high school, and then um, I've been playing ever since. So it took 18 years until last year, in 2018, that I got my sponsorship and I got my first uh, world championship medal. I, I also won the NEC, which is Northeast Coast Championships, okay. um, Capcom versus SNK2 Championships. So I got a gold medal there and it's been dope. It's been a good, good ride. And um, I'm just glad to be on this show and, and share this with you. Thank have you, man. It's I, dope. I just thought about something else. So we didn't shout out your Instagram because right. if you want to check out, you know, his his post regarding his, you know, his, his gaming and right. all that kind of stuff. So tell us, tell them what you got. If you guys want to check me out, Instagram.com slash DJ Galaxy B. You can also check me out at soundcloud.com slash DJ Galaxy B and on Twitter, 
slash DRB3000 or at DRB3000. And uh, one love, appreciate being here. This has yeah. been dope. Sneakers it up. Make sure you guys follow them on Instagram and on YouTube. And just stay tuned. We got some of my partners coming on the show as well. And big shout out to Dante, Kick Game Me. Yeah, That's man. the homie. He is the and homie. Um, it's been a great, yep, he's the a, a original co host. And um, I'm just glad to be filling in here. And we got more coming y'all way. So check it out, y'all. Sneakers and Nook. Gotcha. Since you got a little more time, tell us about this Billionaire's Boys Club. Because yeah, oh. the thing is, you like you get down with the kicks, but then you really get down with the fists. Because I've right. known this guy for a little while. So mm -hmm. like, put people on like me, who only are into the kicks, and not really into the, the, the hats, mm -hmm. and the, you know. And, and the, the gear. Yeah. Um, well, Billionaire Boys Club is a clothing brand started by Pharrell and Nigo. And Nigo is the creator of Bathing Ape, which came out in 1993, and has been holding strong since. And um, Billionaire Boys Club came out in the mid to early 2000s, and it's been holding ever since. So yeah, it's just a really good brand. It has like really good quality, nice prints, um, and good jewelry accessories. I'm wearing the ice cream made in Italy gold chain right here. So this is a part of the collection with the shoes. Mm -hmm. So the shoes, it was the shoes, it was the chain. It came with um, a hoodie and t-shirt to start. And they also have a trucker hat and a couple other exclusive items, um, which can be found on bbcicecream.com. Um, but yeah, there's bathing ape hat. I got this from Japan. Um, I love getting clothes that are from overseas. Right. And um, I just like keeping that movement together. The whole Star Trek, Pharrell, NERD, you know what it is, Rich Kid Academy, all my crew and all the people fly society everybody who's been a part of the success and um, you know I've had a pleasure of working with these companies and people as well so big shout out to Pharrell and ERD Chad Hugo you know what it is so cool thank you DJ Galaxy B I appreciate it man it's been fun and uh, make sure you guys go hit me up on the gram on SoundCloud on Twitter and um, support me also on Facebook uh, Dr. B uh, DR period B on Facebook and thanks for having me y'all it's been real cool we out peace, peace.